All right, 93.3 WMMR, Matt Court, along with Jackie Bam Bam, Preston Elliott, and ladies and gentlemen, Rob Zombie is here. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. How are you, Rob? I'm all right, I'm yep. all right. I noticed you were on the uh, side of the stage for Jason Bonham. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounded incredible. Yeah, first time seeing him? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. It sounded incredible. You got a chance to say hi to him? I have not. Oh, you know, okay. I came off, they went in their dressing room, and the first thing you want in your dressing room when you get off stage is someone you don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah right. So I thought I'd give it a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're going on tonight at uh, 1045, right? I hope so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any later than that, <laughs> give me a break, man. Right. Well, it's a asleep. tough time to go on, right? Wouldn't you say? Well, yeah, it depends. I mean, it hasn't been a, you know, for festivals sometimes when it's miserably hot and you go on at the end, people are so burnt. But today's been pretty cool. So, yeah. you know, yeah. it'll be all right. Absolutely. Feel good about it. Uh, what to, for, for shows like this, I mean, obviously when it's, uh, when it's just you guys and you're headlining and you can do a, a bigger production uh, show, when you're doing shows like this, is it a little less or do we get the, the big Rob Zombie experience? No, it's always less because there's no way to do it. Right. You know, you'd yeah. have, you, there's no way to put the stuff, so you can't, you can't do the big extravaganza. Everybody would hate you because you'd leave them no stage. Yeah. So, you know, that yeah. stayed home. All right. What's well, we, got, we have other things, though. We have other things. That's cool. Now, uh, you had put the word out, and I didn't find, find out until I got here that this evening, and I guess the cat's out of the bag now, that uh, there's going to be a special guest joining you this evening? Maybe. Maybe? Ah. Oh, that's it? <laughs> what do you want? I don't know. It's, I, <laughs> Somebody it, said cat. Yeah, I mean, there were, there were rumors going around that, uh, that Peter Chris might make it. Could be stage. anybody. I don't know, man. <laughs> do, do you know him? Could be. Oh. I'd like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> If you did know him and he came on stage, would he sing a kiss song? I don't know what he would do. That'd be pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, I mean, probably not Beth. I don't know. Maybe Black Diamond? Maybe if you throw him a rose. <laughs> hey, by the way, when, uh, when, when guests do come up on stage, for any band at all, uh, does it happen off the cuff sometimes? Somebody, you find out, hey, so-and-so's here at the gig. Hey, let's ask him to come on stage. Um, or is that too hard uh, at a, for a technical? Uh, well, we've standpoint? done that before, and it's usually disastrous. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, usually professionals like to know in advance. Like you know, last time we were in Nashville, Mick Mars came out and played with us, but he wanted to know what we we're going to do. We wanted to bring his own sure. rig. He wanted to, you know, which is what we would do if someone asked us. So yeah, no. Sure. Because there's nothing worse than the All Star Jam that just sounds like crap, <laughs> crap. because yeah. no one's ever played together before, and it's a disaster. So we like it to sound good. Yeah, I can imagine. And but I don't know if there's anything tonight. Okay. Okay. All right. well, we'll we, had, we, we had uh, Ken Casey on for the Dropkicks, and he's friends with Bruce, and he goes to Bruce's shows, and he's like, I usually get the text about halfway through the show, uh, you're coming on. Yeah, some people like to do it that way. <laughs> I was they got to be ready for anything. It's, you know, when you stand on the side of the stage, it can get dangerous because they're like, Hey, come on out. Is it? Yeah. Yes, of course I know all the words to all your songs. Why mm. wouldn't I? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, last time you were in town, I, a year ago or something, the whole Flyers thing. And Now, you have the rights to Broad Street Bullies? No, I don't have the rights. You no, don't I was the working rights. with someone else who does. Okay. But I, I don't personally. But there was, you know, for a while it was not going to happen, but... Well, it's sort of just, it, it'll, I don't know what, you know, the, the, tr the tricky thing with movies is they just take forever. Right. So whenever you think something's going to happen, it doesn't happen. It never happens on the time frame that uh, you want it to. But, um, you know, there's nothing good or bad to report. It's all moving okay. ahead slowly like everything does. But right. initially, what, what, what drew you to that? I mean, are you a Flyers fan? Well, I mean, I was always a hockey fan. I mean, sure. I grew up in Massachusetts, so, so at that time period, I was more of a Bruins fan. But I always loved the Flyers, too. And But the, mainly the story, because if the story wasn't story. so incredible, right. I, mean, I wouldn't it's, be it's interested it's at all. But between the time period and the story, you know, it just makes for, it would make a great movie. It's a real-life slap shot. Yeah, I mean, I think that they actually don't like that movie for that reason. I think they feel <laughs> that their story was sort of stolen by that movie, carefully. Yeah. Rob, how far are you uh, into your horror movie now? Because you said you're not going to work on the Flyers movie. You decided to go with a horror film. Yeah, well, the Flyers thing is on hold for a little bit. I mean, I'm not, I haven't done anything with the other movie either because right. I'm on tour. I can't do anything. I yeah. mean, um, you know, this tour goes... I won't get to that till the fall because this breaks tonight. This is the last show tonight, and then we go to Europe for a while. So once that's done in the fall, I'll get, a, get to that, yeah. Uh, did you guys do a live DVD not that long ago? We did. It, it comes out uh, May nineteenth, so I don't know, a couple, couple pretty weeks. soon. Yeah, yeah. 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 What would uh, that relate? Uh, taking that uh, comparatively to a movie, is that just uh, boom? We record a show, put it out, or is there a good amount of work that goes into that? Well, there's a, there's a lot. You know, there's a decent amount of work. It's I mean, it's nothing in comparison to making a movie. Because what I wanted with the concert. I call it a movie because I wanted it to seem cinematic, but I wanted it to be raw. Mm -hmm. You know, we just did it that night. We filmed it. We recorded it. We didn't go back and fix anything. If we 
fuck something up. We left it in. We didn't, you know, because sometimes yeah. like, I watch people's live DVDs. I go, there is not one live second in that entire just, live yeah, concert. Slick all you the way. You can tell they just replaced everything. We just left it. Good. Sometimes it sounds awesome. Sometimes it sounds less than awesome. But who cares? Yeah. It's what happened that night. You know. That's what you might yeah, get on any given night. Yeah, know? I mean that's what I like. I like stuff like that. I don't like things to be perfect. You know, yeah. if I want perfect, just listen to the record. Do you? Uh, if, if something does go wrong that night, I mean, little, no big deal, but something goes catastrophically wrong or it's just a bad show do you beat yourself up much about it or you just say eh, that there's another one in the books no because we never have anything we always have a great show good man even <laughs> when it's going bad we find a way to pull it out yeah because there are some nights where you're like man this crowd just doesn't, isn't into it and it's not working and we just won't give up because sometimes you can see bands go screw it we're yeah. going to try we refuse we can go down with the ship. We yeah. will not let that yeah. happen. <laughs> You're saying that uh, you'll, you'll have a little break after the show tonight, and then uh, then you guys hit Europe. What keeps it uh, fun when you're on a long trek, when, when you're going show to show, almost night after night? Uh, what keeps it fresh for you? I mean, really, it doesn't even... Every, it just is. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like when you watch... I mean, what could it be more fun and easier to do than being a band? I mean, nothing has to keep it fresh or fun. It just is. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't actually... I find it kind of amazing... How certain bands can make themselves so miserable being in a band. I think they lost track of reality. Right. <laughs> you know? I think I met a couple of those people. Go get a, shit, no, but they go get a shitty job you hate and right. want to put a gun right. in your the mouth. They don't appreciate your band They always more. say like the road is so hard and stuff oh, like that. Best job in the world. It's right. easy. Do you get scared at all? Has there ever been a horror movie that has scared you? Oh, I mean, when I was a kid, I thought yeah. stuff was... I mean, I think the, the only movie... The, you know, I mean, yeah. I mean, when I was little and I saw, like, Jaws or something, okay. it seemed yeah. terrifying. Jaws but, scared you? Well, I was, like, in it was third right. grade. <laughs> is it true, yeah, you, is it true you're it. a babysitter who used to put you in a sleeping bag and hang you upside down? Sometimes. This one. I, I heard about that. That only happened once. I don't know if we were discussing that, but that well, did happen once. We're, we're getting the wrap-up. Uh, All right. Okay, All right. Go get right. Hey, get thank you for coming Business out. together. Thank you for playing Thanks the for having me. Yeah, man. Rob Zombie, everybody. Thanks, man. Have a great show, Rob.